Hello, welcome back. Uh, one battle, we also got some research done in enchantment. I don't know if I mentioned research yet, it's so uncommon for me to do it early. But uh, I wasn't sure if we actually need any early targets. I was thinking of maybe getting Thaumaturgy 2 for Beast Fury to cast on the Lions, which might be cool. I might still do that, I don't know. For now I've just um, slotted in Enchantment 5, because we can get D2s. So, <laughs> prioritize Horde of Skeletons if you have D2s, <laughs> this is a pretty common one. Uh, why not? And then, yeah, battle in Jeliniagora. Great province name. Now, this province actually turned out to be pretty hard. Because uh, there is a blood mage here, Conjurer. We are quite lucky that it's just one Conjurer with two blood slows. Uh, that could have gone much worse. As it is, he does raise skeletons, he then does summon imps. So, five imps. Mm, on our front line. Now, for some reason, our archers all route. I think they were getting hit by arrow fire, maybe. Profit with the big banishes, though. Take care of the skeletons. Uh, and is that it? Or do you wake up and do more imps? No, that's it. Okay. So that could have been bad. <laughs> uh, as it is, it was okay. We've lost all of the archers and uh, most of the warriors now. But um, yeah, this is a really nice pickup though, because it has a great gold mine for 150 gold, so pretty good. Uh, this province is a 5k pot province with 176 income currently. That will improve with our scales too, which is nice. Uh, nice one. That does mean we can sustain this recruitment in the cap as well, which is quite funny, so we're still shooting out lions. Uh, not sure what to do with this army now though, because we can probably still expand with just seven sacreds. Looks a bit awkward though. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to White Peaks and then to Thodaz. And then I can give uh, my prophet some new units probably. Uh, or, and then the whole the whole group can just attack Gerillion together. Which, uh, yeah, might be a difficult one, so... That'll be the plan. We also have a new army hitting Glistening Dew Forest, though, so... Here we have some lions up here on Hold and Attack Rio, which is very cool. <laughs> I'm very pleased with this. And then we have our Sacreds on the front, just on Attack Closest. Uh, this army should have no problems with most Indies, to be honest. Just the Sacreds will be fine. Ah, uh, that should be okay. And this province isn't that big. 40 enemy units. 101 income though, pretty nice. Uh, I think all of our provinces are very high income then, so far. White Peaks is going to be another almost 100 income. More when our scales move in, probably. So, we have quite high value provinces so far, which is very nice. Even Thodaz isn't bad for a wasteland, and then hopefully we get Gerillion after that. Uh, and these guys can cross this bridge and just see whatever's over here. So far, it looks pretty puny. Um, this might be a bit weird, but... Some heavy cav here and some deer tribe here. I think they'll have a nice, clean, easy expansion. Uh, over here we can see Marvoni, so my scout is just going to sit here and see if Marvoni expands through this, or nearby. Because it would be nice to go through Grillion and then get some of this stuff before Marvoni gets it. Uh, we'll see though. Uh, speaking of scouts, though, uh, another thing that makes this province great, uh, we can recruit scouts. <laughs> Immediately queue that up forever. Very nice. Also, holy shit, we have four thrones right next to us. Yeah, I mean, cool. Anyway, that's it for this turn, so hopefully these go fine. And, uh, and last person to take my turn again. Get the feeling I might be the only European person in this game, because it's uh, <laughs> I'm always the odd one out. So I'm just going to pause you while I check the video, and I'll see you in a minute. Hello, welcome back. Two battles. First up in Glistening Dew. Here's our new army. So quite a lot of heavy infantry. Slingers in the back. Sacreds have no problems. Shame some of the heavy infantry split off though. A few lions. The rest of the lions start mauling the back. Pretty good.
There we go. Uh, there's Glistening Dew. Lost five lines, that's okay. 23 kills. And then White Peaks. Um, didn't have many units left. Probably should have moved these guys down a bit. Uh, as it is. <laughs> Quite a lot of dudes is heading for a profit. He does at least have some bodyguards. And then manages to fight them off, so... Very impressive. He does pick up a limp, unfortunately. So, limping profit is never good. You want your profit to have a lot of map movement so that they can claim thrones easily. <laughs> but, we did stay together and we did take the province, so that's good. Profit then got into the Hall of Fames as well. Uh, heroic battle prowess, so... Increased attack skill. Uh, what's that on now? Well, he loses one to a limp, unfortunately. <laughs> and then he gains two from the heroic ability. Alright. Well, that's it for messages then. Oh no, White Peaks as well. Uh, eventual Chrome Curse the Land. Misfortune plus two. And units got cursed. Do you guys get cursed? It's like, no. Oh, there we go. One dude got cursed. Uh, well, could be worse. <laughs> could be worse. Uh, anyway, here's the map now. Uh, I can see Mavoni is moving west, unfortunately. Uh, I sent him a message saying, please go no further west, you'll be in my cap circle. Which is true. Um, but hopefully that means he also avoids this province and leaves it to us, because that would be nice. Uh, I guess that also means this scout can move on, can't it? Yeah, let's, uh, let's just go straight down and look at this area, I think. Yeah, that's it for messages, though. Uh, and here's the map now. Besides Marverni, you can see we're continuing to attack provinces. Uh, I'm going to move some new stuff over to join my profit, plus some lions. Uh, we'll hit this province. And then, yeah, next time maybe we'll all just hit this province. We'll be able to do, what, 21 sacreds and... I don't know, <laughs> a lot of lions? Maybe that'll be enough to grab this. And then maybe this as well, that would be good. We'll see. Uh, but for now, Thodaz is getting hit by you know, two blocks of Lion Warriors, War Lions at the bottom. No changes other than that. Same strat. And the guys who took Glistening Dew are going to head to Stone Heavens next. Can't see what this province is worth. Doesn't look too bad though. Light infantry, archers, militias. So, same thing. Sacreds in the front, War Lions at the back on hold and attack rear. Uh, should be fine. And recruitment is currently exactly the same as well, so... Still getting 7 Sacreds and 17 Lions or whatever each turn. Pretty good. That's in addition to the Scouts we're now getting too, so... I'm going to start sending Scouts in different weapons, try and see what the rest of the uh, terrain around us looks like. Some of the Thrones don't look too bad though either. Um, this one is, what, 170 enemy units, mostly Horse Tribes and Heavy Infantry though. We might be able to do that once we've finished Expansion. Same for this one. Some Koonis and Yavanas. Also might not be too bad. I think maybe the Yavana or Uyakas. I don't know, some of these probably have magic weapons which will go through our invuln, so I'll have to check if they do or not. Might be a bit more difficult. Uh, this one is... well... Crystal Amazons. Which aren't too bad. There's an awful lot of them though, 250 units on the report currently. That might be tricky. And can't see this one yet, but you know, soon. Uh, otherwise though, that's it for this turn. So, a pretty simple one. Might try to start a fort here at some point. That'd be quite nice. It's 91 resources and 80 rack, plus a shitload of gold from the mine. <laughs> That'd be a nice place to get our first fort. We'll see. Uh, we could recruit mercenaries this turn, but Arnold's archers. I don't know, I think I'd rather just get the uh, lions. Anyway, that is turn five. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. Uh, two battles, Stone Heavens was fine. So the new army off, continuing to expand well. I only lost one of the war lines, so no notes there. Uh, Thodaz was the weird wasteland province. 
So we're into a bunch of long dead horses. Shouldn't be too bad for us. Prophet's here to do some banishes. Now the provinces also have this uh, necromancer lurking in it though. What's this ability? Corpse Stitcher. Oh, you can heal undead, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, so we had a, a conjurer a few turns ago. Now we've got a necromancer. I don't know who's hiding all these evil spellcasters in my lands, but I'm not happy about it. You'd think the lions would have a good time here, they're just going to get right on the back, but um, this guy's just shitting out skeletons, unfortunately, so <laughs> they end up crashing into the skellies. Oh well. This guy's still doing skeletons. Yeah, not a good one for the lions this time, unfortunately. We get through all this in the end, though. Uh, whoops. End up taking the province. So yeah, that's Thodaz, right? Yeah. So I lost 16 of the 17 war lines. Not good. But uh, yeah. But I'm necromancer lurking around. Okay, well. Not too bad overall, I guess. And Thodaz, we got plus 10 defense, so... It's nice, I guess. Uh, and that's it for messages, right? Yeah. So here's the map now. You can see Malverni in Trollland. Mm, you can also see Katiz over here. So you can see our neighbors already. Mm, I really hope we can expand well. Looks like we're going to hit a wall quite quickly on both sides. Uh, I can see Muspelheim here as well. Not great. <laughs> um, I intentionally made sure to take and the heat one on our skills, because I knew Muspelheim was in the game. And uh, we got some heat res on our bless for the same reason. Um, but yeah, we're a bit crammed already. Really have to make sure we take the provinces that we can see. And then probably, yeah, I will have to try and smash into some of these thrones, I think, and get them set up. We might play quite a defensive game, I think. We might just try to lock down this territory and then just take these four thrones and just defend this square as best as possible. We'll see. Uh, anyway, this turn, this squad, doing fine. Going to go straight into Cursed Lands, so no changes there. Barely has any losses so far. Uh, this should be okay. This is just a wasteland with some archers in it. A few heavy infantry. I don't suspect we'll have too many problems. Uh, up here then, I'm going to try and take this gigantic province. Hopefully it goes fine. It is a shitload of units, but they're not good units. They're just militias and light infantry, basically. So we've got the guys in Thodaz, plus some stuff from our cap. Uh, it's pretty impressive. There's a ton of sacreds. They're all in the front in these seven, in these uh, three blocks of seven. Lions at the bottom on hold and attack rear. Don't suspect we'll have any problems. Uh, I can divide these guys up properly next turn. Uh, along with some more stuff from our cab. Same recruitment. That should all be fine. But uh, yeah, hopefully this goes fine. I mean, I th assume it will, just because our sacreds are so good. But it was a very big report. Wasn't it like 160 when we had a scout here? It's just hard to get a, a sense of how difficult provinces are at the moment, because, you know, in, in independent uh, provinces are a bit bigger now. You have to just kind of slightly readjust your uh, <laughs> your sense of danger. And I'm just, I'm not sure if this is dangerous or not. So I'm just bringing an awful lot of force to bear. And hopefully it goes okay. Besides that, not much to say. Uh, mercenaries look like this. There are some nice little mercenaries here. Horse archers. I don't think we need them just yet though. Saving up a lot of gold now as well. We'll be able to do a big bid on mercenaries next time if we want to. Or uh, maybe even be pretty close to starting a fort. Either or. This is going to get confusing because I'm playing a game as Muspelheim, so whenever I log in and see this flag, I'm going to be like, oh hey, it's me. <laughs> and then go, no, it's not me. This is me. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, that's it for 10 6, right? <laughs> so, end of the video. Uh, hope you're enjoying it. If you are enjoying it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> I'll see you next time.